Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day and Gamers, and welcome. So today we're taking a look at countermeasures. Countermeasures, you may ask, what are they? Well, countermeasures in the real world are used to deter enemy missiles, rockets, and all sorts of different weapons that are fired at a ship. But in Space Engineers, we don't have heat-seeking missiles, so we need to do it a little bit differently. Now, imagine you're in this large ship and you're traveling through space and some space pirates come out of nowhere and try to attack you with some rockets and missiles from behind. Now you need some sort of countermeasure system because your ship's not fast enough to outrun them. You just need to buy yourself some time to get within contact with friendlies or maybe even get around the next asteroid where there is safety. Now we have some connectors along the back of this ship and the idea is we're going to disperse different types of ammunition such as rocks or maybe even metal plates to deter the missiles on the missiles on impact will actually explode so the first thing that we need to look at when we're considering building countermeasures is what to use as the countermeasures now the first option is rocks now rocks do stop rockets and they do stop machine gun fire and we'll just have a basic look at that and from moving on to that, we have steel plates. Now, steel plates will do the exact same. You've got more surface area, but you've got the problem that it's not as angled, it's not as round, it's not as bulky object, unless it has the hit that flat side. Now, you can see when it hits the steel plate, the missile actually bends around it, and that looks very interesting, some sort of deflection, possibly. So, back over here, we have the bog standard starter ship. Now, we need to equip this with countermeasures so we get the basic idea of it. So we started out by doing this. We equipped it with more countermeasures than it ever would need. Now this just slows down the ship and it is just ineffective. Now you'd have to manually activate each one of these to actually drop these countermeasures. Now if we move on to this next ship, this was our basic design. We've got four pods and the four pods deploy countermeasures out the back just straight. Now there is a few issues with that. We'll get aboard and we'll have a look. So we just disengage our landing gears and we'll take off. So the first thing that you'll notice is that these rockets are going to come straight out. So let's just disable our inertia dampeners. And we'll turn on these connectors. So we turn that one on. Turn all four on. So you'd have to be a little bit faster. And you can see how the countermeasures are coming out. But they're coming out in a very sort of standardized pattern. And it doesn't even seem like we've got one on. One of them's not on. Oh, they all are on. But that one's not feeding anything. So it's not very good. I mean, we've got a nice trail coming behind us. A nice patterned trail you could see. And it could stop a missile, but remember, we need this to be a bit more sporadic, a bit more random. So when it actually deploys the missiles, it'll have a much more dangerous effect. So we need to move on a little bit more. Now, when it comes to dispersing these sorts of objects, we want a way of getting them accurate, but random. We want a nice controlled sort of pattern. So let's disengage our landing gears and we'll take off. You can see that pattern that ship's left over there as it's going and we'll just make a pattern right next to it so you can actually see the difference so we're gonna come through here now the idea of this is the metal plates at the back are gonna bounce the rocks off so we're gonna get a much more varied pattern so I'm just gonna speed that up there and then we're gonna turn these bad boys on so we turn that one on we turn that one on turn that one on and we turn that one on so we've got this more sort of diagonal pattern now the actual rockets is causing them to cross and you can see how it's a much more sporadic pattern and it's much more likely to stop a missile if it's fired at you from behind. You can just see how the rocks are making it curve out and cause a much more simple... And, I mean, rocks are inexpensive, so don't think yourself as actually losing resources here. This is something that is saving your life. Because if one of them rockets manages to get through this field, just imagine you're a rocket trying to get through here. It's going to be a lot harder than if there was nothing there at all. Right, now let's move on to the final design. Now, when we were taking all these into consideration, you've got to obviously notice that there's going to be a lot of rocks like this floating around. But we need to take into consideration the ammo type, so we'll move on to steel plates after we've tested out this last design. So this is the last design here. We hop in. Now, the idea of this was to make them more sporadic, but more like a standard sort of plain sort of chaffing or flares. So if you remember like an AC-130 or um, any sort of plane, the flares come out more to the side and that's more to distract the missiles, but there's no lock-on feature. So this looks more cool than it is actually functional, I'd say. So we'll turn that one on, turn that one on and turn that one on. So finally, so we've got this nice sort of V pattern and we've got one of the connectors deciding not to open up. There we go. Now we do. Now we've got this nice sort of V pattern of actual rocks coming out. Now that might be better if 
you're flying in some sort of formation or something, but you're very vulnerable to the actual back here, and you can see how someone could easily get a missile score in the middle. But if they're coming from an angle, this could work because you've got two angled patterns of rocks to cover your actual movement. Now let's get back aboard this ship, and we're going to talk about steel plates. Now if you don't want to go cheap, and you want to use an ammunition type that's a little bit more expensive, you could try to use steel plates. So I'm just going to um, cut down the back here, so we've got more of a standard sort of mix-up pan, like so. And just take that off, take that off. And there we go, now we're going to have a standard sort of mixing up pattern. Now, the first thing you want to know about your steel plates is what angle they're going to come out. So what we need to do is actually place some steel plates in the back here. We've got 1,700 to place in the back. Now, I think these are technically more effective, because you can just see how much space they're actually taking up and what sort of situation they're making for imagine anyone trying to follow that now that is going to be hard to get a missile through and you can just see as we're um, taking off here how the actual plates are coming out sideways and that's not very good so we're gonna have to change that up a bit so let's um, get inside and turn these collectors off like so turn that one off and turn that one off so all collectors now should be off and you can see the problem with the plates, though, is the plates can get jammed in the back of your ship. I've not had a malfunction with this so far, but it's something you probably want to be careful of. Maybe clear them after you've um, used these sort of deflectors. So there we go. Get rid of them. Get rid of them countermeasures out of there. Now, we need to make it some way so these come out a bit more straighter. Now, if you notice, they actually came out sideways at an angle like this. So I'll just place the ones I picked up. And you can see they came out like that. Now, if a missile was fired at that, It'd be easy. It'd be very easy for it to get past. So we need it to come out like this. We need to come, make it come out so it's more flat like that. So it's more likely for a missile to hit. So we're going to do that by actually changing the direction of these connectors. So if you see, we've got that square on the side. So we don't want it so the square's on the side. We want it like that. So we've got the black side facing backwards. So there we go. And there we go. So now, when we actually deploy the systems, we should have our plates coming out more sort of in the correct direction so they do mass surface area so let's turn these connectors on and see what we can do so turn that turn that turn that yeah there we go so we're getting more we're coming out as block squares now so we're getting more surface area covered so let's just make sure we've got all these systems on here we are i think we're just running out of plates a little bit but you can see we're making a nice field behind us so imagine if you're a missile trying to fly through this it'd be so much harder just all these, I mean, maybe one day when they introduce heat seekers or something, I mean, you could maybe make some sort of flares then as well, but, oh, wow. It's just it's just so cool trying to deter missiles with this because the missile would have to be so accurate to manage to make it through all these sort of flares and little little bits. I mean, I'm calling them flares, but really they're just metal plates. But it, it does look damn cool, doesn't it? Now we move on to the big ship. So this big ship needs bigger countermeasures of course and the size of the objects is going to be pretty much the same so we need some way of covering maximum surface area to protect this rear engine bay now i mean how can we do this we need to build some sort of angling system to angle the actual plates to come out at random now there's two ways we could do this we can make them come out like across for instance so if we did something like this we have a six there uh, hold on we're gonna need to put that there and then we build a six like so and then we have a ramp like this. We can basically make them come out in a more of a cross sort of segment. So they'll bounce off that and then slide out at a more random angle. And that's probably what we want. So we don't have to go with some somehow like that. Or maybe we could get rid of that there. Extend that forward. And then put this like so. So we'll have to see how this works. So we'll get a 9 out. And put that like that. So that should make them feather a little bit down and we should get some nice sort of patterns on this test so i'm gonna do this with sage he's gonna help me out he's gonna be my um, crew member launching the flares as we're for under attack and you can just see the effectiveness of how good this could actually work now let's try this from the perspective of the guy behind you now if there's a guy behind you this is what he's gonna be faced with gonna be faced with a mouth full of rocks just look how crazy this looks now imagine if he's faced with plates now the plates are even worse because the plates can cause damage they can get stuck in the ship of the enemy and rip off parts it's very exciting actually so thanks for watching guys and i'd like to know what you think about using countermeasures